good friends, Brian from Apex Detail. Uh, today I would like to talk about the Turtle Wax Max Power Car Wash. And yes, this has been out for quite some time. There are probably hundreds of videos on it. I would like to give you my spin and explain how I use it here. So I'll use built hamper for traffic film removal. When it comes to stripping old waxes and sealants, fresh waxes and sealants from cars, what we do here, obviously, if you follow the channel, you know we just do corrections and protection. Uh, ceramic coatings, graphene coatings, and so on. So we want that clear coat to be naked before I even start to correct it. Uh, all those old waxes and sealants can get caught up into your pads. They cause you to have to clean them off after every pass, and they become less effective. So something like this is very important. You get 100 ounces for $6.99 on Amazon. I have Amazon Business, so it's $4.89. For under $5, you get 100 ounces. Guys, you'd be, you would be pressed to find a, a, a better buy when it comes to price per container. So let's get into this video, and I'll explain how I use it. By the way, Walmart also has it for the low price of $4.88 for 100 ounces, guys. Unbelievable. The Max Power from Turtle Wax has three levels of cleaning power. Uh, they call it moderate, aggressive, and extreme. Removing dirt and grime will be the moderate. That'll be three ounces. Removing bugs, mud, road salt from in the wintertime. Uh, that's the aggressive level. That's at six ounces. And extreme is removing brake dust, sap, and very heavy contaminants, nine ounces. It is a thin watery concentrate. It's not viscous. You, you won't see ribbons of the car wash concentrate float to the bottom of your contact wash bucket. But before we get to the bucket, it can also be used in your foam cannon. And three ounces four ounces in the cannon and the rest warm water and then don't forget as that comes out of your cannon it's mixing with the water coming from your pressure washer as well so that breaks it down so you want to do your dilution ratio and keep that in mind but you can also get a powerful wash out of the foam cannon if you load up with three four maybe five ounces and lay down some it's gonna it's gonna be you know kind of runny foam it's not gonna be the thick shaving cream uh, unless you fill up the whole uh, foam cannon canister with the concentrate which you probably could I just would not use that unless it's a car coming in has heavy contaminants and I'm stripping it to come in for correction or correction and protection this is just at three ounces and then mixed with water and then that's mixing with the water coming through your pressure washer as well. And yes, it's runny. That's exactly how I want it. That's a personal preference that's more contact of the solution with the surface of the car breaking down that muck. Uh, and this is what it looks like. You can absolutely get a thicker foam if you add another ounce or two or three. As you're using the shampoo, it doesn't go flat as you agitate it, either with the detailed, soft detail brush or your wash mitts. You'll see it uh, lather up even more. It rinses free from the vehicle in direct sunlight or in shaded areas, for me anyways. Uh, even if it starts to dry, just uh, hit it with water, it will reactivate it and you can rinse it free from the surface. Very hard to show how a car shampoo um, works in action. I can share with you through the experience of using it now on many, many cars. It's excellent at stripping fresh waxes and sealants, excellent at old waxes and sealant, decent at traffic film. There's room for improvement there. Uh, there's always room for improvement for me anyways when it comes to lubrication. I can feel the slickness. Lubrication comes as you're dragging the wash media across the surface of your car. The more lubrication there, the less the chance the marring. That's the idea behind it anyways. And there's always room for improvement, I believe, with these car shampoos. 
but uh, this is very impressive. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, agitation, once it's in the wash mitt or in your soft detailing brush, the more you agitate, the more lather you get out of it. It's a very proactive shampoo. And very interesting, as you can see here, it's almost like a cloud of the concentrate in the water. It disperses rather quickly within the, the bucket of water, not coming down in uh, thick ribbons that you have to agitate with the pressure washer. And you get instant suds, nice thick suds. You could feel the slickness. And of course I do the one bucket multi mitt wash routine. So I throw all the mitts in there let them soak in all that rich concentrate and we get to the contact wash. You want to feel your wash media glide down the panel, then you know you have a quality shampoo with ton of lubrication. Guys, cut down on those love marks. an effortless rinse followed up by the drying method of your choice drying towels or forced air and you're left with a nice squeaky clean surface Looks incredible, very impressive, way to go turtle wax. That will bring us to the final thought segment of the video. So to put into context how uh, my wash process goes here, for a car that just comes in, uh, I know it has some very light um, protection on there like a wax or a fresh sealant. I'm going to use the Turtle Wax Max Power to help strip that. And I'll use between four and six ounces. For a car that's already been protected, coming back for maintenance, I'm going to use Car Pro Reset. That's going to be a uh, half ounce to an ounce. And if I have a vehicle that hasn't been washed in a long time and I notice a lot of traffic film on there, it's going to be built hammer. So just wanted to share that with you. What you do with that information is completely up to you. But for the max power, I want to explain there's a difference to me anyways between lubrication and slickness. I could feel the slickness in my hands when I dump my hand in the wash bucket when I have a few ounces of this in it. Uh, but lubrication to me is when you have the wash media or your wash mitt and you're dragging it and uh, along the panel and it's the drag that you feel. When there's a ton of lubrication and you have really good shampoos, you could just glide that wash mitt just holding it with two fingers. I wish there was a little bit more lubrication into the solution. Uh, it would really almost make it a, a perfect situation. Uh, maybe a little bit more suds for those of you that like that. I know that there's no importance to suds to me except for um, you know the optics of it. So I can give a rating on the channel of 
somewhere between impressive and very impressive. Because of the price at under $5 for me, it's very impressive. Um, but I urge you to go out and try it if and when you need a, a new car wash that is straight up for cleaning power. There are no gloss enhancers. There's no carnauba in there. There's no polymers. There's nothing that will uh, mask the characteristic of some protection you already have on there and you want to keep it there. Just use two to three ounces. It'll be pH neutral. It will not hurt that protection you have applied. If you want to help get rid of it and break it down, add six ounces, four to six ounces. I've I barely use it with the 9 ounces uh, that takes it up to a pH of 10. I don't like going that high. I don't like being that alkaline. Um, when I'm, uh, that's like driving through a car wash, guys. It, they, that pre-wash foam that comes down on your car will be between a 10 and a 14. That's extreme for clear coat. I would not do that on a regular basis. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. I'll catch you in the next video.